Oh, what did I do? Oh, I was taking a picture. Okay. Huh. All right. Hey, what's up? All right. So, um, what we're doing today, we're gonna try and balance, balance some wheels with my little bubble balancer here. Basically, the setup I got going on, I just made this. It basically a bubble balancer. All it does is that you put it on a point and it balances level via gravity. But at Harbor Freight, it's 80 bucks for a bubble balancer. So what you do to make your own, I'm just using my phone as the bubble level because I don't have a place to buy it. Basically, you just got a point that it sits on. And then I'm using a uh, just a center cap as the, uh, the point it sits on. I just made a little dink. In about the center. It's pretty much the center, I think. It sits pretty level. So I reckon it was close enough. And a bubble balancer isn't going to be perfect, perfect, or as perfect as a electronic balancer, like a machine. But either way, what I do then is I just sit a brake rotor on top of it so I can sit the wheel and match up all the holes so then the wheels in the center so basically after I just sort of level out the the rotor on the the center cap and just give it a little spin so it works itself out then you can go ahead and take your your balance your level device and then you can um, just get it oriented to where it's as level as possible. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to give you a definite spitball, though, if your wheel's pretty, pretty not level. See what this is? It's a little bit off. It was pretty good earlier. I don't know, but we're just going to go ahead and give it a try. See what happens. Okay, what you're doing first with your balancer is your. Uh, you're gonna go ahead if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. It's you know it's not gonna be perfect, but it should be close enough that if your tire's way off, you should be able to adjust for it. So basically, what you want to do first, you want to just get your your level balancing level. If you have an actual bubble balancer on the very center, it'd be better. But I'm just using my phone because I'm not gonna wait and buy one. So what you want to do, you want to try and get your um, your surface as level as possible. Well, I'm at like point, like a half a degree and a quarter degree. No, what is that? It's a fifth of a degree and a fifth of a degree. I just got my weights around the edge, so it's sort of balanced. So then, when I can set the wheel down on top, it will be generally correctly level. So let's go ahead and put the wheel on. All right. Once you do, you get your wheel on. Make sure all the holes are lined up about as good as you're gonna get them. If you had an actual hub to be a center instead of a rotor you could put the bolts in and screw them in and it would be centered but I think I reckon it's close enough here okay so I gotta find my level I have misplaced it um oh crap oh it's in my pocket I am dumb Set that there. Alrighty then. And it says we are about... Look, it says we're about three degrees off in this direction. And you can just look at the bubble and you can see that it's off a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and just take some weights and I reckon just put them on where the bubble's pointing, see what happens. See we need about, that much, huh? I don't know. I'm just going to play with it a little bit and see if I can get it close. Alright, so I found a better way to do this. Ah, I fell on my wheel. 
Oh, okay. And it's face down, too, so I'm scratching up. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Okay. So what, what I got going on now is I decided that how I was doing it earlier wasn't level enough. wasn't flat enough. So what I'm doing, I found this. Um, it's like an exhaust hanger off of Volkswagen. And I got this old top hat to fit perfectly in the center of the the center cat. Well, I just wrapped some duct tape, um, electrical tape around it. Then this top hat right here will go on this um, this part, the the exhaust hanger nipple, and then that will be the pivot point. I'll put a little grease on it. But then we're just gonna push this onto this electrical tape. What it's like a quarter. It's a little too big, but with the electrical tape, it'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and put it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so I got my system worked out. Like I said, like we got our got the little um, exhaust hanger thing. Then you got your uh, 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 you got the uh, top hat with electrical tape, so it's in the center. Exhaust hanger, a little tip is there. I get my phone, put in there. It's the level. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Then you just go ahead and you give it a spin. Now doing this, you're not going to get it 100% centered. It's not going to be 100% perfect. But if your wheel is way off, you're going to get it get it sort of close to where it needs to be. Same thing goes with if you aren't like DIYing this. If you actually go have a bubble balancer, it's going to be off a little bit. So this one looks like it's uh, the bubble up there. So basically, when all you gotta do is put weight on the bubble, then it'll it'll even out. And then this mine has a little more friction than is it should have, so I gotta spin it every time to get a get a result back. And what you do is you spin it like three times, see the general trend of where the bubble's gone. Alright, so once you uh, find the spot, I decided that I'm putting a weight in this area right here. All you do is you just, you sand off right there. Oh, oh. You sand this area with some sandpaper and degreaser, stuff like that. I already sanded it, you can tell. I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, jeezy peach. All right, deal with it. Okay, all you do is just take your take your sticker off your weight here, and then you put it on on the wheel, and you press it down. I'll we'll see how's it goes. Alright, we're just testing that weight we put on. And uh yeah, it definitely leveled it out a little bit. That's good enough for me. I think I'm gonna put it back on. That's basically what I did for I already did the other three, I just gotta do uh do this last one, so that's pretty much the procedure. Then um, all you do is you just take out your level so you don't drop it and break it. And just remove this stuff. Take this off, and then you just hit your piece out with a hammer, and then you go put on the car. And that's about it. Hopefully, it drives good. I guess so we'll take it for a ride. See how it goes. All right, that looks good. I'm not. Disclaimer, I didn't frame the shot, so if it's bad, get over it. Still idols like shh, crap. There we go.
funny if I just tossed all the weights that I just put on. That'd be kind of funny. The alignment is still garbage. I think it's eating up this front tire good. I, I swapped the tires around. I rotated them. Road is awful nice, but 
feels a little better than it did. It's got a little shaky shake around um, 50. Like, yeah, there's just, it's, it's sort of known that the Festiva chassis, regardless where you are, like something about the steering rack or the chassis, something like that, you're gonna have a little bit of shake somewhere. And it could be partly, it could be the actual tires too. But, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't feel like that. I was, I think I was going, um, I was about 60. I was going that fast long enough to, I think if it would have started shaking real bad, I think it would have shook. But, I could be wrong. I, I really, I gotta put gas in it, and I don't feel like putting gas in it to go on the highway. So I'm just gonna head home, and we're gonna call it there. I think, um, I think we'll be okay. I will um, make another video or something if it is not okay. But I think that self balancing worked out. I went and got I went and got my balancing um, weights. I had to go to Harbor Freight because Mick Auto Parts store. None of them had wheel weights unless you wanted to buy fifty dollars worth. And I did not want to buy fifty dollars worth of weights. I wanted to buy seven dollars worth of weights, which I got at Harbor Freight. Also, I used coupon and got free screwdrivers too, so, so it was a good deal. But um, I think I think balancing like that worked. I think if I would have been able to do a better job if I had an actual like bubble level, if I would have just spent the three dollars on the bubble level that I could have sat in the center of my little top hat that I used to center the uh, wheel. But. I mean, other than that, I think it worked out pretty well. So, uh, Subaru, what are you doing? Oh, he's turning. Makes sense. But, yeah, it worked out. Hopefully, um, none of those weights fly off, which they probably will. It's Harbor Freight Light. And, 